Hey, how's it going? Today, I'll show you how to get the IPTV XT game application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search. And here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. Then, as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Here they are, click on that button with the gear icon. Then you have to scroll down and go to My Fire TV. So we open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you are unable to find the developer options there, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. You just need to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, if you go back, you'll be able to locate the developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you have to locate the loader. There it is. And make sure to turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. Let's do it. There it is. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just need to connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Germany right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for an RDPN. And now, finally, let's use Vidon Loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. And then of course open up the loader. Wait until the app loads for you. And then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home. So the link is IPTV Extreme. So we'll be entering it. Once again, it's IPTV Extreme. Dot E U. So once again, the link is iptvxtreme.eu. You can see the whole link on your screen right now. So make sure that you have entered exactly as you see on the screen and did not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make any mistake, the link is not going to work. Then you have to click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And then, after the website has opened, 
we need to click on the download here button. We click on it. And then a list of applications has opened of the versions. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then zoom in. This way it will be easier to click on the right version. So the newest one currently is 127. So that's exactly what we're looking for. We might zoom in even more. This way it should be easy for us. Yep, so there's 127. We click on it. And then we need to choose between free and pro version. Let's zoom in again. So in this video, we'll be using the free version of the app. So let's try to click on it. It's really small. Yep, the free version. And from here, you'll see different versions for different devices. Since we are using a Fire Stick, I recommend using the second uh, version, which is V7A. That's the version which should work on the majority of Fire Sticks. So it's ARM EABI V7A release. We click on it. And now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until IPTV Extreme gets installed to your Fire Stick. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So we click on delete, and then delete once again. This way, you get rid of unnecessary installation files from the Fire Stick, and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, we open it, scroll down, and here you'll find IPTV Extreme, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way IPTV Extreme is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.